It's day three and a very busy day indeed here at the ECHO FEI European Championships. John, you've had the team dressage today. Tell us about it. Yeah, the Blue Horse FEI European Dressage Championships came to its first medal ceremony, that for the teams. And it was a fascinating competition right through. There were four nations that could have really contended, Denmark and the three medalists from Rotterdam, Germany, the Netherlands and Great Britain. And it was an interesting draw as well because we got a feel very early for the fact that Denmark weren't going to quite make it. Britain and uh, the Netherlands they were going to get medals and Britain of course came back with that fantastic world record breaking Grand Prix score of over 85% for Charlotte Dujardin. Then we had to wait to see what the Germans could do and it was down to the Remacra FEI World Cup dressage champion Helen Langer Hanenberg and the great Damon Hill. They needed 83.2 to take silver, they needed 83.9 to take gold and they delivered an 84%. Let's have a look at Helen's test. Massive pressure like there have been on all of these key team riders. And she's got a knot. Let him jump together behind. Very good. Whoa. One more pirouette. That's all the tricky movements over and done with. She's just got to get a trot transition at M and then he's back into his the area he really excels, the extended trot and the final passage. And she's not gonna reach the leg row. Look at that trot. That's something, but in terms of her doing the business and getting her 83.7, I think, unless something drastically goes wrong, I'll wait till this Piaf's over and done with. That's for sure, after the first two, could just go down that touch. And it's not going to be over until the last collective mark is in, that is for sure. On the in running total, 83.5. She needs 83.9, 83.964 to be exact, to give team gold to Germany. Has she done quite enough? Helen Langer-Harneberg and Damon Hill look set to relegate Britain to team bronze after that performance. They can take comfort, of course, from the fact that Charlotte Dujardin has broken her own Grand Prix world record here today, 85.942. John, that was absolutely fantastic. Oh, Damon Hill is just getting better and better. He's a huge pleasure to watch, so technically correct, but so gymnastic as well. Um, just a really, really special horse, but not to take away from Charlotte Dujardin's world record as well with the great Vallegro. Four scores over 80, those two, as well as the two Dutch riders, Adelinda Cornelissen and Edward Gall, both themselves former World Cup winners. So it's a fantastic competition and the level is going up and up, championship after championship. No, it was just an incredible ride and I'm so thankful to my horse, to the owners, to my trainer Klaus Balkenhol, to the whole team, to the riders, the officials and it's just great to be here and to be part of this team and yeah, to have ridden this ride, this test, uh, yeah, it's just incredible. John, that's the team's put to bed. What about the individual? We've got two individual competitions, of course, the freestyle to come on Sunday, but tomorrow it's the top 30 in the individual classifications from these competitions that goes to the Grand Prix Special. We're on air from 8.55 and we've got the first horse in the ring at 9 a.m. Central European Summer Time. We'll certainly look forward to that tomorrow, John. Well, it's not finished here today because at 1800 hours Central European Summertime, we conclude the PSI FEI European Jumping Championships. That's just the team event. So join us at 1800 hours for the culmination of a very, very exciting competition here live on FEI TV.